it doesn't matter how much money you have as a black man in America, to a lot of people, you still just gonna be a nigger. The rich nigga, poor nigga, house nigga, feel nigga. Still nigga. Still nigga. OJ like. I'm not black, I'm OJ. Okay. Now get this, what if I told you that the NFL National Anthem Protest had nothing to do with patriotism, had nothing to do with police brutality, it even had nothing to do with Colin Kaepernick. When it boils down to it, this is all it had to do with. To say get that son of a bitch off the field right now, out, he's fired. He's fired! At the end of the day, it's all boiled down to Mr. DT. So, of course, I'm not going to go too much into it, but pretty much what I see or what I've seen from this past uh, natural anthem protest, it's just a sign of toxic masculinity. So they can say they're protesting for this, for that, for all of that, but at the end of the day, not many people really stepped up until they was called bitches by the President of the United States. So, if you looking at me, I just feel like that's there's a sign of toxic masculinity because hey, they just they don't they didn't really care until something was directly directly directed towards them by the highest powerful the most powerful man in America. So it didn't have anything to do with patriotism. It didn't have anything to do with with Colin Kaepernick. It didn't have anything to do with police brutality. That's what it all boiled down to, to toxic masculinity. Now, don't get me wrong. I support what Kaepernick's doing, but for the rest of the NFL players, man, I, don't, I honestly don't know how I feel about that, but for Colin Kaepernick to start this, I, I salute you, I salute you, but for, it's, it's another agenda behind that, because Colin Kaepernick was doing this last season, it was only a handful of players that was doing it last season, and the outcry only begun this season when Mr. Donald Trump called them son of a bitches, and for the owners to do it that's that's really for a sign like yes it show unity yes it show support but at the end of the day they were just protecting their investment so if you think i'm wrong hey so be it this is opinion but to me that's what i feel like it's going on it's just talk to masculinity and protecting an investment at the end of the day that's all it is so that's all i'm gonna say about the nfl as a whole and definitely that's all i'm gonna say about mr dt but uh this video is more about colin kaepernick and why the protests started to begin with. So there's actually a lot that we can learn from this situation and especially a lot we can learn from Colin Kaepernick. So at the beginning, Colin, he was, he was sitting down doing the national anthem. Okay, you know, he, he got booed for that and then he got reached out to by a former, formal um, army officer. I wanna say he was a Green Beret, well, I could be wrong, but Mr. Nate Boyer, he met up with him, talked to him, and they had a conversation talking about how how he could be more respectful, even though he was still trying to protest. So get this, so Colin Kaepernick, unlike a lot of us out here, he actually listened to the criticism that was being done and he changed what he was doing. So he went from sitting, from sitting down completely during the national anthem to just kneeling. So hey, he changed up his ways and you know, I feel like a lot of people in America should change up their ways and their mindset, but hey, we know it's America. We say it in old ways. So, uh, so with that being said, Kneeling is a sign of respect, right? So, how could y'all say he's being disrespectful if, although he's protesting, he is still doing it in a respectful manner? And my my biggest thing about America is, oh, they're mad if you protest this way. They're mad if you protest this way. They're even more mad if you protest this way. So at the end of the day, you can't please everyone to protest. Matter of fact, that's not the point of a protest. The point of a protest is to bring insight to a to a negative situation that you don't agree with either it be a policy a law a thing a person that's that's what it's all about at the end of the day so no protest is supposed to make you feel comfortable nobody's supposed to be like hmm i like that guys over there he's protesting like no it's not it's supposed to make you feel uncomfortable so you can hopefully see what's the reason behind the protest however it's like a lot of people are getting caught up into 
the protest and not the reason behind the protest. It was never about the flag. It would never be about the flag. So why don't why are we not paying attention to the real issues at hand, injustices that are going on in the country, the the unjust killings of people of color in the country by law enforcement officers? So what? Why, why can't we focus on that instead of, oh, he's sitting down during the national anthem. Okay. What's really getting on my nerves is, you are a millionaire. What, what are you doing? You don't understand what these people are going through. You don't understand this. You don't understand that. Now, that's the stupidest thing I ever heard. So, let's break it down. Let me break it down to you. So, let's say the average age of an NFL player is probably about... Let's go with 27, 28. These, uh, these aren't facts. I'm just, just guessing. Uh, so the average age is about 27, 28. A lot of these people have only been pro athletes for, what, let's say four or five years. Four or five years. But at the end of the day, they have been black their whole lives. So you, you can't say that because you're currently in the NFL now, you can't experience racism. You still aren't experiencing racism, and you're not doing this. Because at the end of the day, you're a millionaire. You should be grateful for what you have. We gave it to you. Like, no, that that's the dumbest mindset that I have. But a lot of people in America have that mindset. I've seen a lot of people online saying, all oh, these football players should be grateful. They're making millions running up and down the field. Like, okay. But they can still experience racism. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how much money you have as a black man in America. To a lot of people, you still just going to be a nigger. Let me say that for the people in the back. As a black man in America, it doesn't matter how much money you get. It doesn't matter how many degrees you get. It doesn't matter anything. Because at the end of the day, to a lot of people, you still just going to be another nigga. Now, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about, Tyler? What are you talking about? Man, there's plenty, 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 plenty of articles out there about it. During Barack Obama's whole presidency if you go to any comments on there, anything oh nigger this monkey that the most powerful man and not the country but the most powerful man in the world in the world is being called a nigger and a monkey so you really expect a normal person like me to not be called that you really expect an nfl player that's making millions and millions of dollars running up and down the field throwing the ball up and down the field not to be called a nigger man get out of here if you really think that that's not a problem you are part of the problem so that's why i said this this protest this national anthem protest the colin kaepernick and it originally started back in 2016 had nothing to do with the flag it had nothing to do with those uh 50 50 stars and those 13 stripes it didn't have anything to do with that it didn't have anything to do with the national anthem it didn't have anything to do with the military, with the country, with patriotism, it didn't, it didn't have anything to do with it. So why, why are you and so many other Americans making it about something that it's not about? And speaking of the national anthem, y'all yeah, know how long ago that was written? So the words that were stated in there man, had nothing to do, had nothing to do with people of color because back then people of color was still in the fields, still being slaves. So, why are you mad at how people of color are starting to protest the national anthem? Once again, I'll wait. So yeah, of course, one of the most powerful lyrics in the Star Spangled Banner is all over the land of the free. Well, gosh darn it, would you believe it? What if I told you that when the Star Spangled Banner was written, we were not free i understand that we were not free the star spangled banner wasn't written with us in mind the constitution wasn't written with us in mind the bill of rights wasn't written with us in mind the declaration of independence wasn't written with us in mind nothing nothing of early american history had anything to do with us in mind so why do you why are you so caught up on what people decide to do during the national anthem that was never originally made for us to begin with. So yeah, once again, a lot of people are making something that has nothing to do with one thing, making it mean something else. 
Like I've stated plenty of times, like it's been stated plenty of times, the National Anthem protest started by Colin Kaepernick in 2016 had nothing to do with the flag. It had nothing to do with the National Anthem. It had nothing about being about anti-military. It didn't have anything to do with that. He was just trying to bring awareness to all of the senseless killings of people of color in America most of the times done by law enforcement officers. That's what it all boils down to. So why are you all trying to make it about the national anthem? Why are y'all trying to make it about the military? Why are you all trying to make it about this and that that it's, it's not about? Honestly, if you ask me, y'all care more about some stars and stripes than y'all care about blood and flesh. So something's wrong with that man Something, something's wrong with that are y'all not outraged by that are y'all not and to the people out there that's burning their season tickets burning their jerseys burning all of that and saying they don't support the NFL anymore let me let me break it down to y'all this way y'all realize how mad y'all are when y'all saw those teams kneeling during the Star Spangled Banner last week how mad y'all were over that that's how mad I get when I get on Facebook and I see somebody get shot down in the car with their daughter in the back seat and their wife in the front seat. That's how I feel when I see a man that's laying down on the ground saying he can't breathe with a knee in the back of his neck. That's how I feel when I hear the phone conversation of George Zimmerman saying, I just don't like these people. I, he looks suspicious. That's how I feel. And the reason why I feel that way, I, I feel mad about that because actually I, I I'm not even mad. Well, I am mad about it, but at the end of the day, I'm more scared because that could easily be me. It can easily be me. So y'all out here getting mad about something that's this small, this small, where a lot of people out there, like myself, that I can attest to, we're mad and scared about how our lives could be on the line. Your life isn't on the line because of these football players are kneeling. Your, your life isn't on the line. My life is on the line. Every time every time I see a new video of somebody unjustly getting killed by police or a neighborhood watcher, uh, I, it can easily be me. And you can honestly say you don't have to live your life in fear like I do. So as mad as y'all getting about y'all season tickets, oh, about your, oh, my Steelers, my, my, my Cowboys, my, my, all of that, you know, y'all getting mad about something that at the end of the day is material, where I'm getting mad about it because it's my life. When I see that, every time I see a video like that, I see myself. I can, Because I can easily become the next hashtag. I can easily become the next person laying down in the street for six to eight hours. So y'all get mad at the wrong things, man. Take a step back and stop, stop trying to push your own agenda on it. it. It's not about the flag. It's not about the flag. It's not about the flag. It never was. It never will be. So just... Why, why, why can't y'all understand that? Yeah, Y'all just choose not to understand that. It's been stated multiple times by multiple people. But at the end of the day, all y'all care about is the red, white, and blue. So, man, I just, like, I just don't understand y'all's mindset. Like, what's so hard to understand that we're protesting just to bring awareness to a situation? Because it seems like y'all blind to it. Y'all don't think it's out here happening, but it's out here happening. But y'all, y'all can't see that. And like I said, y'all are getting mad because y'all see these ungrateful millionaires are out here kneeling to the national anthem that I, I love so much about this country. Like, stop. We're mad because our fellow brothers and sisters are getting killed. We're mad because we don't even get a chance to make it to court. We're mad because we we feel hopeless. What y'all y'all are mad about something that's that's small. It doesn't matter at the end of the day. It, it doesn't. And yes, yes, I know. I know. Everybody's going to be like, oh, what about all the people that lost their lives in the military? Yes, I understand that. But like I said, these protests was never about being anti-military. So by you saying that by disrespecting the national anthem, it's about being anti-military. I just don't understand that. I have family members that served in the Army or in the armed forces in general. So I, I definitely appreciate the sacrifices of all of our service men and service women in the country that has been fighting for forever and always want to be fighting. But at the end of the day, 
they are fighting for freedom, right? They're fighting for our freedom over here in our country to pretty much in the end of the day do what we want to do. So why why is kneeling for a flag so so bad when honestly that's then they fight for our freedom to do what we want? Am, am I wrong? Do I have it wrong? If so, please please let me know if I have it wrong. But also at the same time, I respect I respect what y'all are going through. The service people, the service men and women in America. I understand. I would never I can never be in their shoes. So I can only imagine what y'all go through. But at the same time, for the people that aren't in the military saying, put yourself in those shoes, you know, put your put yourself in the shoes of a black person in America. Put yourself in the shoes as being a young black male in America, seeing videos of other young black males in America getting shot down on camera. Just think about it like that, man. I, res I respect our military. I, I love all of our military people, personnel in this world, in the country. Every time I see somebody in military suits or with veteran hats or shirts on, I, I thank them for their service. But at the end of the day, like I said, the National Anthem protest was never about the military. It never was. It never was. So to all the servicemen and women out there, thank you. Thank you for what you have done for us. Thank you for sacrificing for us. Thank you for all of that. Like I said, I had I had family members that were in the in the military. That's why I didn't take that route. You know, my pops or maybe it was my granddad. I don't know, but they always said the military isn't a place for a black man. So being black men in the military, that's all I needed to hear to not have to worry about going to the military. So I, I definitely applied all of the all of the military personnel out there. I definitely take up my hat off to you all because we, we are thankful for you. And to the people, to the people that keep saying that, oh, you were just an ungrateful millionaire athlete. Like, no, stop. Stop saying that. Stop. Because it's not about how much money you have. It's not. Never have been, never will be. Because like I said, no matter how much money I make, no matter how many degrees I get, no matter how many job leadership roles I get. At the end of the day, somebody out there is still just gonna see me as another nigger. Look at Kaepernick, for example. Y'all out here calling him Kaepernick. Like, come on, man. Really? What's the point? Ugh. We live in a very hateful country, and if you think we don't, you need to open your eyes. We live in a very hateful country. So y'all are out here saying Kaepernick. Y'all are out here saying, oh, you're half white. What do you know about racism? Now, pause. Now, don't you think if he's half white, don't you think he will see it from both sides? From the black point of view and the white point of view? So, shouldn't that make him low-key, like, the one of the best people to speak on it because he's seen it from both sides? Don't you think? Don't you think about that? But, no, you don't think about that, do you? Of course not. So, at the end of the day, stop telling people how to protest. Because these protests, it's not to spare your feelings. It's not about what you're doing. It, it, it's not. And and at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how we protest. Y'all always want to say, well, you don't need to protest. You're, what are you protesting for? So at the end of the day, why we're not here to please you. Why? It doesn't matter. Y'all are going to look at us anyway. Y'all going to look down on us anyway. Now, I love my country. I do. I love my country. Are we perfect? No. Am I going to stand up for those imperfections? Yeah. And my main my main saying in life is to, you know, use your voice to amplify the voices of the others. And honestly, man, that's all that's all Kaepernick was doing. Yes, he was in the NFL making millions. Yes, he is a mixed mixed American. Yes, he was adopted by white parents. But okay, that's he was using his platform and he was using his voice to amplify the voices of the people around us where people won't hear. So that's all that's what it's all about. It wasn't about the flag. Never was. It's not about the, the fifty stars and the thirteen stripes. It, it's not about that. It's not about any of that. At the end of the day, it's talking about 
the imperfections that we have as a country here in America. Now, once you stop, once you stop trying to make it all about you, hopefully you will realize that at the end of the day, that's what it was all about. It wasn't about anything else but that. Bringing awareness to a situation that it seems like a lot of people weren't aware of. Because if you don't have to, if you don't know anybody in this community that's being hurt out here, you, you wouldn't realize it. You wouldn't pay attention to it. So that's what it's all about. Using your voice, using your platform to amplify the voices of other people that don't have a voice. So that's all it's about, man. So, so stop telling, stop telling athletes to just stick to sports. Before anything, there are people, they're men and women, just like we are. They just happen to be pro athletes. Stop telling them to stick their, their stick to sports. And if that is the case, if you tell athletes to stick to sports, tell your president to stick to politics. Oh wait, he's not a politician. So I apply Colin Kaepernick for what he started. I, I applied, and for the handful of people that were kneeling with him last season. But to the to the NFL players that just did it last week after they were called. You know, the B word by the president, man, I honestly know, I don't know how to feel about that. I, I, I support it because I like the support and the unity of it, but at the end of the day, y'all, y'all didn't, y'all, I man, I don't really think y'all, y'all was doing it for what it was originally done for. But man, like I said, at the end of the day, I love my country. We're not perfect. We're, we're far from perfect, actually. Uh, but I love my country. But sometimes you gotta sit back and ask yourself, does my country love me? Let that sink in, cause you don't have to worry about that on a day to day basis. I do. I do. I do. Tyler from Tennessee and that was the first segment of Ty Talks I uh, hope you liked it hope you stayed for the whole video I know it was kind of kind of touchy kind of controversial but that's what that's the point of this series so thank you for watching Tyler from Tennessee signing off always remember be blessed stay blessed but most importantly be a blessing to others I'm out